What's up guys, Colby with Feel Free Kayaks and today we're gonna take a look at the Moken 12.5 V2. All right guys, so we're all loaded up on the Moken 12.5 V2. Uh, this one here is in desert camo and uh, this is, uh, don't tell anybody, my favorite boat. Um, I love this boat. It's a great paddle only boat. Uh, it's loaded with features. It, it tracks super well. It's, uh, this might be a biased review purely because it's my favorite boat. Um, but let's take a look at this bad boy on shore, uh, and then we'll get out in the water and we'll fish a little bit and, uh, and we'll talk a little bit more about how it handles the water. So first things first, as we do on all of our boats, molded in handles. New for the Moken V2 is these, uh, rod tip protection. Super helpful, especially when you're coming into the dock. As always, you got storage here, lockable, gets you inside. You have the removable sonar pod here. As always, if you're a fan of my videos, full of snacks. Got some, some beef jerky today. Uh, we've got Unitrack, which over here, you'll see I've got a rod holder attached to. And uh, the Unitrack accepts the Unitrack accessory plate which you then mount accessories to. In this case, I have the Railblazer star port and then a Railblazer uh, rod holder. So that's a little, uh, we'll do a whole video on the actual Unitrack system sometime. I also have this one outfitted with a, a beaver tail rudder. So we've got the toe pivots for the rudder here. You've got a really nice standing platform, super stable. You got scupper plugs, uh, scupper holes down here. The big game changer on the Moken 12.5 was the new seat. Uh, so you do get two positions here, uh, one high as it is now and one low. You've got uh, molded and handles on the side here. Paddle park. A couple uh, cup holders back here. You got flush mounted rod holders, which in this one I happen to have my super sweet GoPro rig. Uh, over there though, you'll see rod holder with leashes. Big uh, storage room in the back here. Got the feel free crate bag with the extra extra rods and stuff in there. And still plenty of more storage back here. So if you wanted to pack a dry bag full of stuff and set it back here, uh, you'd be styling. You got more Unitrack mounts here as well. Another handle, another hidden feature on this guy, which I won't be able to see in here is there's actually um, handles that are molded underneath here for transport, which is super awesome. Got a little drain plug there and again, there's that big old beaver tail rudder. Super helpful for uh, for tracking. And under there, we've got the uh, patented wheel and the keel. Again, the thing you'll see on all of our boats. So let's get this bad boy out on the water and see how she does. Oh my gosh, I'm in a cove now. It's like night and day. That wind is no joke. This is a true testament of the Moken, really, because I mean, I just basically crossed 10 mile an hour winds across an open lake. And this bad boy, it held, it held its own. It's uh, five more points for the Moken V2. Let's try to get some fishing in while there's no wind, then we'll head over to the river. Well guys, the Moken 12.5 uh, V2 is uh, handling everything pretty good. I mean, we had to come across a good clip of wind there to get over into this cove. We're now a little isolated from the wind. I'm actually gonna head up into a river and try to get out of some of this wind so we can get some fishing in. But uh, you know, it, it kind of speaks to what I like about the Moken v, V2. Um, I haven't done the 10 yet, uh, but for the 12.5, I mean, it just cuts through the water really nicely. It's just a really great paddling boat. Uh, I mean, it has all the room and everything of a lure series, and it just, for me personally, it just cuts through the water really well, and uh, and I really like that. Uh, but really, for me, this boat is is it just checks all the boxes. It's a really roomy boat, and uh, I mean, I'm six two, and you can see my super white legs there have plenty of room. I've got the rudder installed on this one. So I have the toe pivots, but there's plenty of room. I mean, uh, just, just space for days. 
the um, uh, Easy Rider seat on this bad boy is also super comfortable. It's only, uh, oh, I guess it has three positions, two high, one that sits you a little forward and one that sits you a little back. I'm all the way back currently. Uh, and then one for low down if you really kind of got to dig in, which honestly I probably should have done coming across that wind. Um, but it has just all of the fishing features. It's just doesn't have pedals and uh really if if pedals aren't your jam and you don't maybe want to eventually upgrade to them i think this is a great option really all right guys legit this is why i like the mokin it lets you kind of get around and explore a lot more check this out we're at the confluence here of three well it's one river but three little shoals, I guess. I'm probably not using that word right, that all feed into one body. So I'm hoping to cast up in here and maybe get some fish. Love it, just to just exploring boat. I mean, hell, I could even drag this thing if I was feeling feisty and get up in there, but maybe not today. Well, all right, guys, sweet victory. Again, this is what I love about the Mokin, is that uh, it's just like, for me, and it, it doesn't really have a lot to do with the boat maybe, but I, it just makes me feel like I want to explore. And uh, getting up into this river now, we got all these little rapids. I mean, how cool is that? Well guys, that's the Mokin 12.5 V2. Uh, handled the wind like a champ, carried all my stuff. Uh, really got us out here exploring a little bit today. Uh, didn't catch any fish, but you know, there's always next time. Uh, if you wanna learn more about the Mokin 12.5 or any of our boats, head on over to feelfreeus.com. We'll see ya.